seals are good, oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple Listen rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady, go safe, go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, yeah, I work in the Stardock. Except, uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah. And the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in a house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. A group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> one of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. Okay, let's see what we've got. How are we on time? A uh, little longer. Grab some samples? Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. Remember, Dusty. Keep your breathing steady. And never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah, because God forbid we drill on a rock with breathable atmosphere. Know what I love about working in Free Star Collective Space? Fewer ranks. A job like this in the United Colonies? Huh. <laughs> Look at this one over here. Cover! No! Ah, no, no, no! It's a laser, not a sledgehammer! Ease up! Benning, if you got paid per break, you'd be a millionaire! Let's go! Yeah, yeah, okay. What do we say, Dusty? You make your cut, you get your cut. No exceptions. Come on, pick it up! Troy, what's the yield? Minimal at this point. Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? Stay the course? No, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay then. Let's call this one tapped. Why don't you move over to that big vein we looked at? Yes, ma'am. what you can. Metal deposits are in that cavern. I'll shout out when I need you. Uh, you think we'll be done here soon? I'm busy. Anyone else to bother? Spike in gravity readings a problem. 
I don't. You don't? What we're after, it'll read as an anomaly. That's what I was told, anyway. Okay, now you're starting to freak me out. Relax. It's just another job. Come on. We're getting close, I think. Yeah, everything is just... <laughs> Lynn, seriously, uh, there's something really effed up about this. Where is it, Hella? Through there, I think. Okay, you, you're up. Something goes wrong in there, we'll come get you. Uh, <laughs> why would anything go wrong? Would you shut up? Both of you do your jobs. Client is on his way. Hey, don't look at me. I've done my part. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar?
You know, a lot of outfits would see a criminal record like yours and turn you away. We certainly took a chance with you. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way, then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? Huh. Well, makes the paperwork easier, and we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. Our constellation contact is on approach. Wait, the explorers group? <laughs> I thought they were kind of a joke. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists, but it's still there. Same with Constellation. Yeah, but come on. Exploring space? <laughs> Who does that anymore? Whoa, Ain't the space we've already got good. complicated enough? Not to them, apparently. All right, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new girl found it. That right. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on Bendy? Kazal. And no, Barrett, not cool. She passed out after the extraction. Doesn't even remember what happened. Is that right? Went on a trip, huh? fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you, ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I'd lost them. Barrett?
believe the Crimson Fleet hit us. Of course Barrett was being followed. Every time. Well, that was some fine work on the pressure. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. Marvelous. Oh, no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? All right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, I, I know, I know, but she's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as she touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. Just go. Before I say something I regret. Well, now that that's settled. Vasco, get her to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo? Again? Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? Come on. You're really not at all curious about that light music show you experienced? Why it only affected you? Because if you didn't notice, we've all been handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. See, that's the problem with the settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown, charting the vastness of space. Without us, the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. That, my friend, is the million credit question. And Constellation can find the answer with your help. They're just following the loop, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a loot collector. Technically, it's not even mine. Consider it alone. Vasco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception, since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. And Vasco! Don't let her break my ship! <laughs> We're still in one piece. Oh, God. I'm gonna... Captain, I assume you know how to fly a Class A starship. Barrett likes to say it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. I will attempt to boost the shields just in case there are any difficulties. Shields ready. The rest is up to you.
Lord's and Crimson Fleet ship bringing its weapons to bear. We will need to disable their shields. Laser-based weaponry is particularly effective. If you can keep the enemy ship centered on the HUD, we can walk in to fire a homing missile. The enemy shields are down, Captain. Ballistic weaponry excels at damaging the hull once shields are offline. Congratulations on surviving your first Starship assault, Captain. We should search the wreckage for spare parts and other salvage. You will need to fly close to it before we can access the remains.
operate. The odds of continual assault from their ships are high enough to jeopardize our mission. In short, they are after the frontier and will not stop. We will need to deal with the local Crimson Fleet captain. A recent scan indicates an abandoned facility on the nearby moon of Crete, a perfect staging area for pirates.
and violent.
I'm detecting a safe nearby. We could make use of whatever is inside, provided we had some digi-picks and a disregard for personal property rights. We're dead. We're all dead. The comms relay has been trashed. The whole room is trashed. We can't call for help. I can hear the terror morph roaring somewhere. And more people screaming. Frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? Oh no, you see, we weren't really after Barrett. We're after that ship. Every Crimson Fleet rook hears about the Frontier. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays. The loot from a hundred planets. That statement is partially correct. The Frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. 
I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. Open fire! dictates that I am to return to the Lodge with no deviation.
I can assure you this unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility will not You will be scanned as you enter the city. Please keep moving. This is New Atlantis Transit, or the NAT. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to the Mast District. Water is quite aesthetically pleasing, or so Barrett has told me. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. Here we are, the lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us inside. Captain, everyone will be in the library, just inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now and he hopes you'll make this place your home. Oh, please. This is better I'll ever win. We appear to have a visitor. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? I see. Bosco, verify. All statements made have been... factual. Ugh. This is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter... And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. She's here, with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Country, if you expect us to believe in fairy... If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But, gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. 
That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves... Easy, girl. Breathe. You'll have a hunt attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Godric? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal. Another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building... Well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. A volunteer force that helps defend the edges of United Colonies space. They're always looking for recruits. Lots of retired veterans and dangerous professionals mixed in with part-timers who barely have a laser cannon welded to a hull. My contact is in the recruiting office, so he hears a lot about what the volunteers are up to. Felt the same way when I started, too. There's an electricity in the air when you know you're about to uncover something. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself, and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact, or this lead runs dry. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before, or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? Ever since I got here, 
This has felt like home. These people are family. I hope it feels that way for you too. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Welcome to Mast. If you have an appointment, you may proceed inside. Sarah. Uh, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? Excellent. Just need to do a little paperwork. An orientation on the UC, a knock out an exam, and a probationary mission. We need to know you'll be able to hack it out there after all. Do well. You'll be out there keeping the peace in no time. Don't forget, John. I need her back after you wrap her in that fancy getup of yours. No worry, Sarah. I'm not forgetting about you or our little business afterwards. Promise. First things first. Head down to the orientation hall. Get signed up at the registration terminal. The system will walk you through the rest. Oh, and if you got a bounty? Well, you're gonna have to make things right with the UC before we'll let you join. But if you've got any questions, I can get you sorted. Have some questions? Military used to have a pretty narrow view of where the best pilots came from. In their eyes, it was UC or bust. The creation of the Vanguard was an acknowledgement by the brass that maybe not all the galaxy's greatest pilots went through a UC flight school. So it's the Vanguard's job to find them and get them to fly for us. Right. Got so wound up bringing you on board, I almost forgot. No, oh, I haven't. Come on, John. Let's hear it before you try to convince her to join the Marines. All right. Here's what I've got. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. You kidding? Lowest posting request rate in the whole fleet. Only thing there the UC cares about is Mars. And no one wants to go to Mars. They want to get off Mars. Oh, he goes way back. I think it was recruit number 81 or something. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. Anything for Sarah. UC always takes care of its own. Even the prodigal children. Oh, brother.
been a long time since I've been to Mars. Soul system doesn't get a lot of traffic. Ah, oh, I've always liked that statue. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. I wonder what the artist was trying to represent. Security scanners, chemical snippers. Hmm. United Colonies sure isn't taking any chances. Contact him if you're interested. We'd all appreciate it. 